Welcome back to Faro Iron and Customs. Today is going to be the February Daily Wrap Up. So this is going to be March 1st episode. Really the last episode of February Daily content for uh, 24. So this year was actually uh, a pretty decent year for the channel. Okay, so uh, according to, I looked at the analytics a few minutes ago. We're up to 60 new subs. It says 60 plus, but I only think it's about 60. Um... Which is good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mad at that. We're at 481. I was hoping we'd uh, go over 500, uh, but we did not. But that's fine. I, I'm thinking for the rest of the year we'll start. Hopefully, start gaining some speed uh, and uh, pick up a few more subscribers and get on up to you know that um, monetized mark. Maybe you know. Maybe not. Who knows? We're gonna keep making videos and we're gonna keep working on this Volkswagen one way or the other. Uh, so thank you to everyone that subscribed in the month of February. Thank to you to everyone that has subscribed before the month of February. And thanks to everyone who has come back and left a comment down in the comment section, liked, uh, or any of that. I do want to mention there is a Friends of Faro Iron and Customs page on Facebook now. Uh, I really haven't done anything with the Instagram. I have a little something going on on uh, TikTok, but uh, you know, <laughs> I don't mess with it much because I don't do that many shorts. I do think I will do more shorts to try to draw attention to the channel because it seems to be something that drives a lot of views. So expect to see some more shorts in the coming year. All right, and uh, I would like to send out a special thanks to uh, Gary at Gary's Car Stuff. He uh, gave me a shout out on his channel. Thank you very much, Gary. Gary, come, he comments on literally every video. Um, also, Mike at My Car Shop. Get a shout out earlier uh, this month. Thank you, Mike. Um, Mike's a good sh guy. Go watch his channel too. And um, definitely go watch Gary's channel and uh, help him get those subscribers up. He had said something about I was ahead of him now and he need, needed to make some videos. So uh, y'all go over and subscribe to Gary's page too. Um, let's see. Also, I have not mentioned the whole, whole of February. I don't believe maybe once or twice. But the whole February Daily thing um, was uh, something I picked up from uh, Jeff at Jess Cost Customs. Uh, and uh, Jeff watches my videos. Thank you very much. Um, and, you know, y'all go check out his uh, channel. I will leave links to those three channels in the uh, description. And anybody else that has left comments, thank you. Uh, 162 Customs. Uh, Dave over at Mad Ginger. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot remember right now what the name of the channel is. Um, that came over from Gary's channel, Rat Rods. I'll try to I'll look that up and put that in the description down here. Um, and anybody else, like I said, everybody that's come on board during February. Thank you very much. It's a huge inspiration to me. I'm ready to work on this Volkswagen. I'm ready to get this thing knocked out. I've got a ton to do to it. Uh, I told uh, Jeff earlier today in the comments that I would like to get this car running this year where I can drive it. Uh, on the road, probably not. Running where I can drive it. That's what we're going to go for. So, uh, anyway... All right, and uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. I'm, I took a bunch of notes to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, so I'm um, going to have more to come on Victoria, which is my 50 Ford uh, two-door sedan. I, I know it's not a Victoria, but the name of the car is Victoria. Uh, I have something big coming, working in the, uh, in the works for later on in march there should be one or two uh videos i'm gonna let the cat out of the bag maybe a little premature but uh 
all I got to do is all I got to do is make it happen. But we got a we have we have, have got a mill coming for the shop. Just as soon as I can make it happen, we're gonna have it here at the shop. I don't know how we're gonna get it in the shop. It weighs somewhere between two and three thousand pounds, so that's gonna be a fun video. My vi my door is seven foot tall, <laughs> so I don't know. We're gonna get it in here somehow. Y'all make sure y'all watch that whenever it happens. Uh, so we, the wife and I have settled on a name for the 54. <laughs> is Emanuela, um, and is basically uh, named after Emanuela. Uh, at uh, Hillbilly Moon Explosion, if y'all have not watched, heard, it, seen any of their, uh, heard any of their music, go check them out. Uh, she did a duet with Sparky from uh, uh, Demented Argo. Uh, I think that's probably their biggest song, My Love Forevermore. Y'all go check them out. On, that's on uh, YouTube. They're way past a million views on that uh, video now. Uh, so, we got more coming on that car. I actually want to polish the uh, roof. I want to try to polish the roof and see what we can get it looking like. It is checked out. It's going to eventually have to be replaced, but I'd like to see if I can get it uh, close to what the factory color is. And the factory color is like the green tint of what the green tinted glass would look like. I don't know if we'll be able to get back, depending on how much sun bleached, sun baking has been done on that roof as to whether how close we'll be able to get back to green on that um so and there's definitely going to be more on that i need to work out about getting that re rear main seal fixed i have already wanted to take that car down the road i want to do a video of that car going down the road in the shape it's in and you know i'm going to shoot for that march april sometime uh, if we've got to put a rear main seal in it, that is going to be an absolute pain in my tail because I do not have a lift and uh, the rear main seal and a Y block, the best I can remember is a rope seal. So that is going to be, I may have to pull the motor out to do it. I don't know. It's a nightmare. I've only put one, replaced one rope seal one time and it was a half a day job on the lift. So or more, I don't remember how long it's been. Okay, and so the plan going forward is to have two videos a week. I'm gonna shoot to have two videos a week. One is gonna be on whatever car I've got in the shop. The second one is gonna be on a shop project. So I was watching the video for today, or February 29th, uh, where I was putting that lower section on the W. I'm kinda glad I didn't get finished on that and I kind of understand why, and in the video I talked about it, having a line that went underneath the W like that. I understand why that's in there. So I've got some, uh, I have got a set of tipping dies coming. I've actually also got a set of roundover dies. It'll start helping us make some shapes. We'll probably have to have the roundover dies when we start making that back, that back um, window section the uh, split and uh, we have a bunch of other sh shop projects I, but I think where I was going with that is with those dies coming I need to get the bead roller motorized I have all the stuff to do the motorized on the bead roller and it was actually going to be some of the first videos in February it just not did not work out like that so that may be some of the first shop tool videos you see is me getting that where I can run it by myself and I don't have to rely on, you know, somebody's work schedule to be able to get it knocked out. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, and so far as videos, that's as, that's how, that's what it's going to be. We'll have two a week. Going to try to have two a week. Uh, when the summertime gets here, that's a struggle for me because uh, I cannot take the heat like I used to could. Um, but we're going to do something. Put exhaust fan up in the gable or something to try to move some air in this building and try to keep it as cool as possible i know a fan is going to add noise to the videos so um you know we're going to do what we can uh and the other thing is is we may do friday night in the shop occasionally it will probably post 
late Friday night or early Saturday morning if we do a Friday night in the shop. And I'm just going to call these videos Friday night in the shop. I don't think that there is any chance that we're ever going to be able to go live unless we, uh, unless Valerie and I decide to go with, uh, I think, what is it called? Skylink, the uh, internet, the Elon Musk uh, internet that's probably our only option for being able to go uh, live at any point in time because our normal internet sucks. I mean, it sucks really bad. I mean, one minute it works perfectly, and the next minute it's not working at all. So, um, but that's it. Uh, and look at that. I was out here all February long looking like a caveman, and the wife got after my head last night, so... You know, it feels good to have a haircut. I'm going to have to work on that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming back and leaving the comments. The comments is what keeps me going. Um, even if it's just one or two comments, you know, I'll try not to dwell on looking at the analytics and you got seven likes and the 85% or no, I ain't looking at that. <laughs> I'm not going to look at that. I'm looking at the positive comments. That's what keeps me going. Uh, thank y'all very much, and I will shoot to see y'all on Sunday with a video. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be right now, but I have a feeling that we're going to be back working on the Volkswagen a little bit, maybe tomorrow night. I don't think I'm going to do anything this weekend. I think I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I, I, I really need a couple of days just to kind of reflect and I got to get that computer installed I may do th that tonight after I render this video anyway that's it y'all have a great day I'll see y'all later